Good morning again, Quadcopter 101 here. Um, in my previous videos of the Tarantula X6, I've been hesitant to actually push the envelope of this quadcopter to demonstrate its uh, um, flight maneuverability. Uh, mainly, I didn't want to risk uh, overheating these motors just yet. I wanted to demonstrate uh, the range of this quadcopter and its uh, camera carrying capability, which I think I have sufficient number of videos to show that. So what we're going to do today is actually put some risk on these motors. I'm going to uh, do high maneuverability flying. Um, if I do come into an issue with these motors, I have about a half dozen spare WL Toys V262 motors that I can pro I'm probably, I'm almost positive that I can swap those with these motors. And that would be another good video. So to do such, you know, just demonstrate how to repair the motor on this quadcopter. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do high maneuverable flying of the Tarantula X6. Hope you enjoy the flight. Okay, the uh, battery's been inserted. Turning on the transmitter, binding to the quadcopter, testing the motors, going to intermediate. Ah, we'll go right to expert. Let's go for a flight. As you can see, it is highly maneuverable. and very fast. Let's demonstrate that speed. And there it goes into the air. <laughs> Sound effects provided by F-18. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go to intermediate, just for a bit here. Gives you a little bit smoother control in intermediate. Here comes another F-18. One advanced. So this is a highly maneuverable quadcopter. Look at that thing climb. <laughs> Okay, where's that flip button? Let's try it. Okay, let's bring it down here and try flips. Oh, can you see that? Did you guys see that? Let's bring it in again. Amazing quadcopter, isn't it? So this is a badass little maneuverable, not little, <laughs> badass maneuverable quadcopter. Again, if the motors wear out on this because of what I'm doing here, <laughs> I am going to demonstrate how to change motors with a V262 motor. Highly maneuverable. Badass quadcopter, isn't it? Don't you want one? <laughs> this is actually a lot of fun to fly like this. I hope these motors last. <laughs> 
because I'd like to do this again with this quadcopter. Tarantula X6. A lot of vendors got these nowadays. But again, I got mine from Banggood. Hey, uh, those of you who got yours from uh, other vendors than, than, not Banggood, I got this from Gearbest. But those of you that get yours from other vendors, uh, please demonstrate the range capability of that. I'm, I'm worried because a lot of the other vendors are only demonstrating or only advertising this is 100 meters instead of... Uh, the 300 meters that Gearbest is advertising there is look at how far mine can go way out there and come right back but um, for those of you that get it from Banggood or uh, T-Mart or any of the others please do a range test I'm really curious and a lot of people are curious too if there is a difference in the versions of this quadcopter you know because again, Banggood and T-Mart are only advertising this at 100 meters, vice to 300 meters that I'm getting with the Gearbest version, and that's the way it's advertised too. Okay, I think I've done enough flying of this <laughs> at high rate. Going back to beginner, and I'm gonna bring it in for a landing. That was really stressful on it. I hope I didn't damage it. I don't think I did. Seems to be flying still good. The tarantula. Hands off. <laughs> Get out of there, bug. <laughs> Let's see if I can fly this with uh, throttle trim. Tarantula X6. Pretty cool quadcopter, ain't it? Okay. And I'm going to finish this flight off with uh, low pass or low speed, beginner's speed uh, run. Now if you fly this mainly with a camera and fly it like I'm doing right now, your motor should last a long time on this. But if you fly it uh, like I was flying it recently here with highly maneuverable flying, that is going to hurt your motors probably. <laughs> so I wouldn't recommend doing that all the time. But flying it like this with a camera attached, you should get a nice long life out of those motors. But those of you who watch my videos know I have a hard time flying like this too often. <laughs> I need to open it up every once in a while. But yeah, again, here's the difference in the sound of those motors. Vice when I was flying it recently, at uh, high maneuverable flying, very different pitch, much less stress on the motors when you fly it like this. So, I recommend flying it like this, especially if you're a beginner. You know, keep those flips to a minimum. You know it can do flips if you want it, but unless you've got spare motors like I do, um, I recommend watching the maneuverability of their flights. Just keep it nice and gentle with a camera attached, then you should, you should get lots of flights out of it. And I think that's the end of my motor, or my battery. Let's see, was that my motor or my battery? Well, the lights are not flashing. Here's a way to test if you've got a bad motor. I'm going to lift it up 
And if it flies in any one direction, that is the motor that's gone bad. Yep, my left rear motor has gone bad. And that's what I get for flying it like that. <laughs> See how I, you can tell that this motor is bad. When you try to take off, the quadcopter will tilt in that direction. Okay, so I'm going to replace that motor. This gives me the opportunity to show how to replace these motors. I am going to do a future video here shortly showing how to replace this left rear motor. Uh, I'm going to use a V262 motor since replacement motors for this quadcopter are not yet available. But again, um, notice that flying highly maneuverable flights like I did there can damage a motor, <laughs> so be careful. <laughs> okay, Quadcopter 101, hope you enjoyed this video. Quadcopter 101, signing out.